guys, welcome to my crow tutorial, Bakasana. Something that you guys can now practice at home with a few top tips so that when you come into class you might have a little bit more confidence um, rocking out one of these postures. <clears throat> so, come back onto your mat, come onto your mat, get your mat available, bring yourself a block and that will help us to start off with. So we'll come into a crow as if you've never ever come into a crow before. Um, I'll give you all the tips that you need to start to build your crow from the ground up. So the main top tips are lots of chaturangas. We're going to use chaturanga arms. We're going to bend at the elbows and come forward, chaturanga arms. So lots of chaturangas will build up the strength in your upper body, which will help you when you come into crow. Bring yourself onto your block, so bring your toes onto your block. When we use a block to start off with, it just helps to lift the bottom. So you haven't got, a, you haven't got so much weight coming forward, so if we lift the bottom, it'll just help us coming in and start off with. You want your hands nice and spread, about shoulder distance apart. And shoulder distance, you can test by doing this, so one hand to one arm, one hand to the other, and then bring them down to the floor, so you know that your shoulder width apart. Look towards the short end of the mat, what you don't want to do is look down, because if you look down, you'll, you'll fall down. Squeeze your pelvic floor in and up, which is Udya um, Mula Bandha. Squeeze your belly towards your spine, Udhyana Bandha. And then you've got, you've got that strength stimulating your digestion or your sexual organs. And it's lifting your tailbone, giving you flight. So spread the hands. Bring the knees onto the back of the flesh of the arms. And you're going to come into Chaturanga arms. So squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the belly, Chaturanga arms. Bend forward, look to the short end of the mat. Now what you want to do is one leg at a time. So first of all, pick up one toe towards the bottom and then the other toe towards the bottom. And then when you're ready, when you feel confident, you can lean forward, look towards the short end of the mat, squeeze your belly towards your spine and bring both feet to your bottom. Now you can hold it for one breath, for two, for three, build up as you go along. Okay, one breath to start off with, go back in, come back out. And maybe we've got a bit more confidence, two breaths, but take your time. You know, keep practicing it every now and then. The strength will come in the upper body. You'll get used to that feeling of squeezing and lifting in the core and taking the pelvis nice and high. And then when you feel confident without your block, you can do it with your toes on the floor. Same thing, hands out, spread. Knees in the back of the thighs, look forward. Lift one foot, lift the other foot. And then... Focus on your crow. Bear toes towards the bottom. Bring your feet down. Take a breath. Take a rest. It's quite a big posture. So actually coming into Malasana squat is really nice after that. Bring your head towards your hands. Knees nice and wide. Elbows pushing the knees out. Just take a rest. Take a pause. And keep practicing. Practice, practice, practice. The more you come into it, the more the body will adapt and strengthen. And there's your crow. Namaste. See you guys in class.